Hey guys, so someone reminded me that I was going to show you how I knit and how I knit quickly. And so I knit using continental combination knitting. So the first thing I do is I tension my yarn around my pinky and around my forefinger and that kind of creates like a pulley of, of yarn. And then just like with any knitting, you're going to enter that stitch from the left side and then pull the yarn from behind the needle through the loop. So you're just kind of catching it behind and pulling it through. Sometimes I kind of um, rotate my forefinger forward to make it easier to catch, but it's not even really necessary. And yeah, so that's pretty much just like regular knitting. This is just straight continental knitting. Um, the combination part doesn't come in until later, but I can get a pretty good clip going, um, especially when I don't have an iPad in my lap that I'm trying to work around. <laughs> But that is continental knitting. Now, in it, essentially, I used to be a thrower, um, but I found that it was really hard on my hands. And when I started practicing continental, it was just a really good fit. So now we have to purl back. And again, I tension my yarn. Now, purling is something people usually don't enjoy because it's a really awkward movement. So you enter the stitch like that, and you have to kind of twist around and pull out, and it's really kind of awkward. And the way you do it in combination knitting is you just kind of do the same thing with the yarn in front that you did with a with a, a knit you enter from the right and then just hook around and pull it through again a very simple simple movement and the funny thing is is my grandmother who's 92 i remember a couple of years ago watching her knit and taking a video and this is when i was just doing straight continental knitting and was doing that sort of flick of the wrist twisted movement every time i was doing a purl and um, I remember noticing and going, that's interesting, like the way she purled. And she watched me and she said, why are you making it so difficult? Why don't you just go through exactly like what you're seeing now? And I said, well, grandma, doesn't that twist the stitch? And she, you know, she learned 70 years ago <laughs> more. Um, and so she didn't even really, you know, that didn't really compute for her. She's like, well, that's just how I knit. So that works great. Now, the only thing is when you turn it around, yes, you have twisted the stitch. Do you see how I'm trying to enter from the left side, but that stitch is facing the right. And so what I do is you then have to knit through the back loop. And that's just essentially going through the middle of the stitch, right? Where the, like the same path that the needle takes, you just go through the center of that stitch is kind of, you know, through the back loop is what it's called. But really to me, it looks like you're just knitting through the center. And that's a much more natural movement to just, it's sort of like the path of least resistance, right? If you can't enter the stitch from the left as normal, it probably means that the stitch is twisted. And so you just need to knit it through the back loop. And that's the case in, in any knitting because sometimes, you know, a, a stitch will get twisted and we're trying to go, why can't I enter this stitch properly? Um, just knit it through the back loop. So this here now I'm just purling back. And the last thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how I do um, ribbing and it's more just showing you after a purl row where the stitches are twisted it's about reading your knitting so you need to look in that stitch feel that stitch and figure out what is the best way to enter that stitch so in this case because I purled back the normal way I'm looking at this knit stitch it's not going to go the regular way so I knit it through the back loop I try to purl this stitch, I can't get in that way, so I purl it from behind. And that's the last thing that's going to be new in this video is when I am purling from a twisted stitch, I just purl from behind. So again, knit through the middle and then pull the yarn in front and pull from the back and then just hook it through. And again, we've turned everything the right way. This is probably the most different of all three that I've shown you because you're dealing with knit stitches and purl stitches on all twisted stitches. But in the end, it becomes very natural and very easy. So that is how I knit. And uh, I hope that was interesting for you. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.